Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do a full truck tour of Matilda interior and exterior. Dogs. So, Deity built our steps, good old Jonathan, so he, he made sure that these were built specifically for us because of Ruben and his arthritis, he doesn't really walk up steep or heavy inclines. This has an additional tread in it from what we had before, so it's a lot less steep. Um, and it has the insert rubber treads, so it's much easier for him to get his claws into without skidding. Massive difference. Although we've had to put this little drop box to the top. <laughs> our little dog seems to put her claws in there and decide to hang herself from her feet. It's the only part that's got a wider... Tiniest gap. Yeah. But that's worked well, hasn't it? Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Little locker, just got the diesel heater in. That's a wet diesel heater to heat the water. Which is one of the old lockers, but with a new facade on it, just to match, really. Spare wheel, everything. Here, locker. This was replaced. <laughs> Vespa. Vespa then got stood on. <laughs> <laughs> just get opening. <laughs> Silly girl. Uh, this is just a weird storage locker. We had these built because the old military ones were still on there and they were small, useless, wet. And we decided we just wanted something a bit sleeker. And also we had the LEDs fitted while we were here. Make sure it looks a lot, lot, lot nicer look. And yeah. we've got our little rubber markers we have fitted as well. Yep. Which is quite nice. And then, same locker as before, but this has got additional worky slash runny stuff in. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> doing loads of running at the minute, <laughs> of course. Don't tell anyone. Main gas tank, which is great. So we had him build this, so it's big enough to have two of the six kilos in, so we can do a changeover. It's a bracket and Older system down the back so they don't move. And then the big one, our SUP stuff. This is what we'd like on the other side once we move the spare wheel. But as you can see, we can fit a hell of a lot in there. Two SUPs, dog life jacket. Dog life jacket, all the additional pumps and wet shoes and. Oh, my flip flops. My flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is just a facade for all of our batteries. Pure power, additional three pin plug, 240. And then we've got a tiny little, I think they call it an Anderson clip. So we can connect just across the top. Oh, you can tell we've done a lot of driving. She's filthy again. Yeah, she's filthy again, isn't she? Oh, we have the LEDs replaced. Oh, we put LEDs in to replace the old candles. They're not much better, to be fair, in an evening, in dark, but because we've got all the other floodlights across the top. One of our things that we said, didn't we, was that we don't, drive at we don't drive at night. We don't want to drive more than two to three hours a day. Just Otherwise, we just, going. yeah, we're just on the road all the time. And yes, and driving in the dark is a thing that we, we said we wouldn't, yeah, we wouldn't fun. do. And there's no, there's no, there's no need because we want to get somewhere set up for the, for the evening. It's As I'm already in the bedroom, we'll start here. Um, I know loads of people have been asking for us to do a truck tour. For the past, in the past over the past few weeks since we started so it's a beautiful sunny day outside so we thought right let's get it done so here in the bedroom we've made quite a few changes um we put these cupboards in um there was storage here before but it wasn't quite just wasn't quite enough really for us and all of my clothes so we we fitted these cupboards um and i don't want to too much they're relatively tidy um so as you can see we've got double storage here um, and then with a single one on the anti, we can get quite a lot of clothes in. Um, and I've snuck in some fake plants there. Anybody that knows me knows I have a little bit of a fascination with house plants. Um, so we've got a full double bed, double mattress. Um, not quite a king that we used to, but it's a fully sprung foam, what's it called? Memory foam top, um, 30 centimetre depth mattress. Super. We have refitted this sky hatch. Got the lovely um, darker exterior 
Um, it's got the fly mesh and also a blind, so we can have either either. And we had this fitted. This was new, a new addition. This is a Max Air fan. So we have one in here and one in the kitchen. Um, hopefully that they will be able to cool down the temperature when it gets, starts to get a bit warmer. Hopefully it starts to get a bit warmer. Um, and it's also got a, a screen across as well for, for the night times. We had these blinds fitted as well. We've got these all through the truck. There was curtains here before, but we just felt that blinds were a little less intrusive. Um, I've got it down at the minute because it's really quite bright coming through and we can't film. Um, <laughs> we also had this beautiful um, headboard bespoke made, um, thanks to the boys who sew. Um, apparently it's never coming out, Pete said when he fitted it. <laughs> thanks Pete and Ryan for all of your amazing hard work and ideas. This um, is beautiful velvet, which Ryan found for us. So we've had this uh, made and fitted and actually it's really good. It serves as a as a second pillow really, so we only have to have one sleeping pillow. And it's lovely just to sit and relax, read a Kindle, have a cup of tea. It's a lovely space actually, and a few people have, be, have asked, oh, is it not a bit small? But we both sleep really well. Um, so yeah, no, no regrets with this part so far. Right, we'll move on. So this, are you recording? <laughs> this area, I think is, I like to call the dressing room area. <laughs> Who doesn't love a dressing room? Anyway, we have a little wardrobe here, which we do manage to hang some clothes in. It's a bit messy with that side, so don't get that bit. But we've got jeans and trousers and things hanging up in there. Um, also, our diesel heater is tucked away in there. Uh, all of our controls for both diesel heaters are here. Not that one, that one. Um, and the immersion heater as well. And then we have a really handy little shelf here where we've got all of our bits and bobs um, aftershaves perfumes face creams etc um we've got a lovely another lovely worktop here which also lifts up which is ideal for of course hair dry straighteners etc and <laughs> um, we pop this little mirror on as well which is really handy um just when i'm drying my hair which doesn't happen very often um, we also had this Wonderful curtain fitted again from the boys who sew. Thank you, Ryan. Um, so it's just a bit of a privacy curtain, really. Um, if I want to go to bed a bit earlier or I'm getting changed and the doors open. Um, but it's, it's beautiful fabric um, and it also keeps just keeps us a little bit separate if we want to close it off from the dogs of a night time as well. Next, we'll take you to the bathroom. Uh, we've also got this. This is a lovely little addition from Ikea. We just hang our towels on to dry. Um, again, just trying to utilise every bit of space that we can. Um, this is my favourite part. This is our wonderful bathroom. So this is our lovely bathroom. I'm trying not to get me in it as well. Um, let's start down here. So again, just some little gadgety bits. We got this um, suction cup holder from Ikea, which is perfect just for cleaning cleaning bits and bobs um it's just to stop again trying to just utilize storage and it stops everything rolling around on the floor when we're traveling um everybody needs a squeegee um for any bathroom really and that's that's just again that's just suctioned onto the wall so it keeps it out of the way keeps it lovely and tidy um this is our amazing toilet um our separate tiny we'll do a separate video a separate <laughs> um we'll do another video on that um shortly because it really is a game changer in truck and van life this lovely little toilet roll hold um this is brilliant this was from ikea thank you to dave and jess from global tracers for suggesting this one it just uh sits on the wall and you can load it i've got my finger stuck and it just keeps the toilet roll really dry which of course is essential again another little ikea suction just for our toothbrushes so i don't forget to brush my teeth whilst i'm in the shower because as you all notice, we don't have a sink in here. I'll come back to that. Um, little mirrored unit. There is actually a window behind here, um, but we felt, because obviously we've got the, the window and the roof there, we felt that having a um, some more storage and mirrors actually was, was much more useful. Um, so again, it's really handy for all of our bits and bobs and storage. These are really good little holders from um, Amazon um, just to keep things dry and secure and uh, we put these 
magnetic strips on because the little magnets that were on it were just rubbish. Um, again, a little bit of faux plants there. Just brightens things up a little bit. Um, another suction holder here. Again, we can get all of our shampoos, um, face washes and things in there. We had this refitted. In fact, we had the whole of the bathroom refitted. This is all brand new. Thank you to Mr. Matthew Payne for doing all this. Um, this shower head, I can't remember what it's called. What's it called, Mark? Uh, is it Stone Stream? Yeah, I think so. We'll try and find a link for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stone Stream, it says yeah. it on there, yeah. Um, it just filters all the water and it's just got such a lovely fine spray. Um, actually, we, we make sure that we don't use waste too much water. Um, towel holders, again, thank you, Ikea. And a must, I would say, in all truck life is this little beauty and um, we've had this for quite a few years now but it's great just for because obviously you need to come in after you've had a shower to use the toilet so this little Karcher window back has been invaluable so there you go there is Matilda's bathroom beauty okay so before we get to the kitchen which is very exciting and um, this is just a, a lovely little storage area and um, big cupboard up here this was an open space I can't get these fingerprints off for some reason um but this has now been um, we've had a cupboard put in here this this houses all of our it equipment um, bits and bobs and it's got a plug so we can charge like the ipad's charging the batteries for the um drone are charging and that just keeps everything tidy up there and out of the way little drinks cabinet ofs <laughs> with pineapple and um, thank you shelly for the pineapple um books and games um and just a, a, basically it's just a storage handy little storage areas there and it's nice to have a little bit of it open this is our main hopefully nothing's going to fall out food storage pantry um shh, don't look at this, but these goes back quite a way actually so we've got four shelves full of a good amount of food um we've got a bin down here and another storage cupboard they're really boring so we won't look into those um this houses on our solar um from victron energy um so that's that keeps in there we don't like to put anything else in there because we like to keep it nice and open um and then this is all of our switches lights um and then this is our lovely little setup again from victron energy that was fitted by autoelec wilts um <laughs> richard um, did all this work for us um fantastic company a little local family-run business it tells us we had these water sensors put in so it tells us how much water we have or haven't got. Um, but mainly we use this screen so we can see what we're, we're currently um, on shore power. So it tells us what we're bringing in, what we're using, how full the battery is. Um, and we would be bringing quite a bit of solar in today, but we're on shore power. So that is the uh, pantry area. Welcome to the kitchen, heart of the truck, shall we say. Um, so this kitchen, um, anybody that know, knew Matilda before, will know that it's the same layout, but we've had all the cupboards refitted. Here, there used to be a log burner. Matt had a log burner in here, but we really thought we wouldn't need that. We're not going to sort of it, really. Um, <laughs> so we utilised the space and he built this unit for us, which houses our lovely little oven, um, storage unit above. And, let me see, you've seen this before, our cute little washing machine. Uh, it's a three kilo washing machine it's great for undies socks and things oh and housing a bottle of wine um, but it's a great little oven it's perfect for what uh, for what we need we've managed to do a baked scone the other day we've done shepherd's pie in there so we've got jacket potatoes we've got pork chops later so that's our lovely little oven this little thing you can see peeking out here is another amazon purchase i'll put a link on Thanks to my lovely sister, Nikki. Um, you just dry your hands on it, so you don't have to have a big hand towel. So again, it's a space saver, washes really well, and it's very, very absorbent. Again, we've got these little hooks, suction hooks from... Um, so more storage here and here. This houses all of the dogs, um, meds and treats. We've got this open storage here, um, which is great just for utilising. Again, it's where do you put all your little bits and bobs off or stock? And all my herbs and spices i haven't forgotten to put this back in the fridge it's so damn hard <laughs> we have to leave it out um and we haven't got a butter dish so that is the butter dish gas hob sorry the oven is gas as well so we can run on gas if we're ever short on power in addition to that we have this 
system from Virgin Pure, which we had in our house. Um, it does do instant boiled water, but it, that pulls quite a lot of power. So we just keep it on for the cold filtered water. If you've watched our previous videos, you'll see um, I had a situation with ice cubes. We have a filtration system from the water tanks, but um, to me it tastes a little bit funny. Oh no. Um, so we have, we, we had this plumbed in anyway, so we get um, lovely cold purified water and it doesn't pull a lot of power. Um, again, just your standard kitcheny bits and bobs, kitchen roll, big cupboard under the sink. I've just got all my cleaning items. This was a great little um, addition. Again, it's finding things that, are, that work for these small spaces. We've got four drawers here. This these pans were one of the best things we bought for the truck actually. Um, I'm going to do a top 10 things, must-haves in truck life. Um, these pans are from Tefal though, I think it's their Ingenio range and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pans in here. Um, two frying pans, a deep like little wok thing and three standard saucepans and they all share these handles um, that you just clip on and off. Um, and they, look how much space they take up, oh, hardly any, it's fantastic. Um, and then we've got just a couple of our mugs and glasses in and ignore the rubbish and um, this actually was from amazon again it's just a foam holder that is cut out to hold cups and glasses and we really wanted um proper drinking glasses wine glasses stainless wine glasses um i can't be doing with having my tea out of a thermos flask so that was put in there and then we've just got standard utensil drawers um, there. Um, this little beauty thank you cassie lots of thank yous in this video this is from sensi um, and it barely pulls any power it's got a little bulb in it and it warms a little wax melt at the back and we just get a lovely sense coming off we've got two dogs and two humans in a small space so we like to keep it smelling pleasant you've seen these before our lovely magnetic glasses from silwi and um, we'll do another link for that there'll be lots of links on the bottom of this uh, video um, but they've proved to be again they'll be on my top 10 list fridge freezer again i wasn't too sure when we first moved in i didn't think it was going to be big enough freezer at the top fridge at the bottom i uh, is from victory frigo they're an italian company i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly um the freezer is bigger than the fridge um but they're both work amazingly well you can get more in there than i ever thought you could um we've not struggled at all to keep enough food for us as dog mates. um it's amazing actually how you can live life with minimal a little freezer it's full of our dog food actually uh, but it freezes really well um and it's exactly what what we need So this is our seating area. Um, you've seen quite a lot of you have seen the bits and bobs of this already from when we were getting ready to leave the UK. And um, we had all of this area re-upholstered. Um, Again, thanks to the boys who sew. Ryan made these beautiful cushions for us. Thank you, right? And they've been actually invaluable because they're so thick and sturdy. We can have a good, you know, lean back, watch the telly, have a drink. Um, so this is our dining area, um, editing, whatever else we need to do in this area. We have fitted a Sonus um, so we can sit and listen to the radio. Of course, we haven't got it on now because YouTube will ban us. Um, Ryan made this wonderful palmate. Um, who, who, you know, everybody needs a palmate in a truck. Um, Mark fitted this fly mesh uh, net as well. It pulls up and down um, and it's great if we want to sit with the window open. Uh, but we are going to get these windows replaced. They're a little bit tired um we've had some issues with the paint so when we're back in the uk in the summer we're going to get both the big windows replaced a hand on heart i can't say enough about the starlink absolutely fantastic um we never struggle to get strong internet and when i say strong it's like three times three four times faster than we ever got in the house um so that works really really well um we had a tv fitted which again, we got a few um, comments about. Not everybody agrees with 
truck my fan life and a TV. Do you know what? I don't care. We stream some films. We sit and watch a box set. The weather's not been fabulous um, in the UK and arriving in France. So, um, and I just have to show you this, actually. A little tiny, teeny tiny terrarium that was made. It's the only living plant in this truck. I'm not sure what that is on the window out there. Um, this was made by my very talented friend, Claire, from Gert Lush Terrariums. You'll find her on Insta and YouTube. Um, give her a follow, buy some terrariums. I'll meet him. Speed. So this is the cab. Oh, I nearly did a welcome to our crib then. <laughs> That's showing my age. Mm. So, Two dog beds, and um, would generally lies here. Reuben takes over the big bed in the middle. Um, we've got these lovely kiss, um, seat covers on from Hatha uh, paddle boards, which have made a difference actually when it's been a bit cooler, haven't they? Um, nice and fluffy. Um, so we have a new reversing camera that we had fitted. Um, Rich did that again from Auto Wilps at Alec. Um, so that works really well. Sat now, well, it's an iPad that we use as sat nav. Um, we've just put a new um, holder in, and actually that's really quite firm, isn't it? It's, it's good. Really yeah. Now, yeah. One we had before was not good at all. Um, so hopefully we'll test that out this week. And then we've got the GoPro set up as well, um, which we haven't started using yet. So that's really good. We can start using that on the back out on the road this week. Um, oh, put a little cover back in. That's where the Sona sits when we're traveling. Um, that's about it in the cab, really. We've had, uh, Mark's done some work on this pane in the bottom hatch that's been leaking like I don't know what. So hopefully, well, it's due rain this week, isn't it? So It'll be a test. Hopefully, we'll find out if it's worked. And I know everybody else that's got DAFs struggles with the same thing. I think we'll have it taken out at some point. Yeah, Maybe potentially it'll be the air con yeah. unit going, but, won't they? So we'll get... Again, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that further down the line. We'll get this first trip out of the way and then... Uh, We'll see. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the tour of Matilda. Um, look at Ruben in the background. <laughs> if there's any, any questions, pop us a comment. Um, if you want any links, as we said before, if you want any links for anything or any tips on anything, or if you've got anything to share that you think would say, be... Uh, if you've got anything to share, that's important. Yeah, that it? would be helpful. Um, tr truck life is van life, as we're always looking for something... Uh, Quick and easy. Yeah, that would, would change our lives for the better. Um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a comment, share, subscribe if you would like. Um, Click the bell, all the normal stuff. And we'll see you next week. See you later.